So this week uh, and also next week, we will talk about uh, the AI services uh, that on AWS. Uh, so if you remember that uh, we mentioned about the, the machine learning. So, so machine learning is uh, the foundation that we can provide those AI services. Okay. Uh, and also the deep learning is one type uh, of the machine learning. So it's one type of neural network. Um, so those are the relationship between among machine learning, deep learning, and those AR services. So AR services mean that the as long as the computers um, can perceive the environment and also make actions like human beings, um, then we define that as the AR, AR services. And this week, we will also introduce the AWS. We also use AWS, so we all now have an AWS Educator account. And AWS has a lot of AR services that uh, are available. Uh, many of those services do not require any programming experience and do not even require the knowledge of, about those machine learnings. And so that is pretty easy to use and also very powerful. And however, so you can use what the service that they provided as it is. Uh, so still, if you know the programming, if you know the machine learning, so you, you can also design your own um, AR services. So AWS, so Amazon Web Service. So this probably is right now the most powerful and also uh, the most popular cloud computing services. Uh, so they provide solutions like for uh, storage, computing, networking, uh, databases, and also others. Uh, so we know there are several companies that are providing the similar services like Google, uh, Microsoft. However, so Amazon AWS is still, uh, as 2020, it is still the leader that's in the cloud computing. And you can see as March of 2018, so two years ago. So uh, the total number of AWS services is more than 5,000. So I believe right now this number will be even bigger. So there are thousands of services and many services I don't, I never used. So, uh, so I don't think there's any single person in the world that know all those services. Uh, so we are going to talk the most, uh, the one that we will use for this class. And if you are interested in learning more about the basics of the AWS service, uh, so I do have a class that is size uh, 480, that is this spring, on uh, this winter semester. So that is one week online, so that I will talk the basics. I will talk about the basics of AWS service and also how can we use AWS to analyze big data. Okay, uh, so the first service we are talk about is IAM, so the Identity and Access Management. So we will use that one in, uh, in this week's lab. Uh, so basically IAM is kind of the way that we are guaranteed that um, users is able to access your data, access your resources on AWS, and we can also guarantee that the services um, are able to access your other resources. Okay, so for example, uh, if you have a database, which is on AWS, and if you have a user, okay, so if you want to access this database, then you, you have used IAM, okay, so that to allow to give the user, give the user the access to access the database. Um, and also, you also, for example, if you have other services, so, so for example, if you want to do a, a natural language processing, natural language processing service, okay, that service will also need to access your database. And you have to tell IAM to authorize this service to access your data. Okay, so that is what the IAM. So basically, IAM is access management and also identity management that allow users or allow the other AWS applications to access their AWS resources. Uh, the second one that we will use uh, in this class is called 
S3 or the simple storage services, and most people also call it S3 for short. So that is a storage that they, uh, for the internet. So basically, you can save store all your data, any type of data into your into S3. So that is solution of the data lake. Okay, so AWS provides um, online databases and also data warehouse. And also they also provide a solution for data lake. So S3 is a solution for data lake. Uh, so here's some details about S3. So um, it is very reliable, scalable, and also durable. Okay, so if you, uh, for, you can see that for every 10 objects, so those objects can be files, images, the likelihood of losing one is 10 million years. Okay, so it's very durable. Um, and also you can save unlimited number of objects. So basically, and um, for a single object, uh, it is five terabytes. Uh, you can encrypt your data. You can also use that one to host websites. And for each single account, you can create 10 buckets or 100 buckets. So buckets is like folders. Okay, uh, where you can organize your data. Okay, so buckets is like folders. And we'll see that one later in the demo. Okay, so S3. And when we're talking about the AWS machine learning uh, stack, okay, so there are three layers. The first one is that the machine learning frameworks and also infrastructure. So uh, if you are an expert in machine learning, so if you know the programming and plus the math, okay, behind the machine learning models, and you can use this layer. So for example, you can use, you can build your TensorFlow server, uh, and also you can use those uh, Python libraries and also you can do the deep learning, um, machine learning, so very powerful. So you control everything and you can set how many GPUs or CPUs you like, okay? So that is the most uh, powerful and also flexible solution. So if you know very well about the programming and also machine learning and also hardware, etc., so you can use um, those uh, services that are provided by AWS. Uh, machine learning services. So that means that if you know machine learning and also a little bit about programming, a little bit about machine learning, uh, you can use AWS SageMaker. Okay. Uh, SageMaker provide provide um, uh, the notebook instances where you can uh, build your own notebooks and you can bring create design your own algorithms or you can use their predefined algorithms where you can make experiment, you can train your models, uh, you can also monitor your models and also you can deploy your models. Okay, uh, so this one AWS provides the management manager service, so you don't need to worry about infrastructures. Uh, you can just use all, those, all the predefined services and you can bring your data and also train your models. On the top, those are the AR services. Those is suitable that if you do not have knowledge about programming and even do not have knowledge about machine learning. Okay, and you can use those services. So uh, for example, if you want to do the uh, image comparisons, you can use AWS Amazon Recognition. Uh, and if you want to do the uh, text analysis, natural language processing, and you can use a Comprehend. Okay, uh, and also AWS also provides uh, more and more services, like the, if you want to build a chat box, you can use Amazon Lex. You can create, if you want to do a forecast, you can use Amazon Forecast. Okay, so there are so many AR services. Those are provided for users who are not familiar with um, Python are not familiar with programming and also machine learnings, and you can use those services directly. Uh, so here, this is a screenshot that I captured from the AWS uh, AR services. Uh, so for example, for the, um, uh, let's say, advanced technique analysis, so uh, it is called Comprehend. So we are going to use this one uh, in this week. So that use natural language processing to extract insights and relations from unstructured text. 
And there are also the other services like building chat box, code review, uh, forecasting, document analysis, enterprise search, okay? And also fraud prevention, video and image analysis, which is a uh, recognition that we are going to try that one next week. We can analyze images and also videos, and also personalized recommendations, real-time translations, text-to-speech uh, transcriptions. So those are the major AR services AWS now is providing. So they will add in more and more services later. Okay, uh, so that's the last lecture of this uh, class. Uh, I also want to uh, mention the other services. The first one is AWS Educator. So and they have a lot of free online courses like career pathways, badges. So after this class, if you are interested, you can take those courses and you can earn those digital badges and you can add that one into your uh, uh, LinkedIn profile, etc. And these are free. Uh, my GitHub, my YouTube also provides those source code and also video tutorials uh, for this class and also for the other uh, AWS analytic tool, uh, uh, AWS analytics, uh, and data analytics, uh, data mining, data visualization, Python, and centers. So you're welcome to uh, subscribe or um, check my data and also YouTube. And here are my uh, Twitter and also LinkedIn. So you're welcome to, to keep connected. So uh, I'd love to hear about more about your stories and after you have uh, finished this class.